Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlemagne's adventure in Astrox. So what's happening today? Well, I don't know. It's been a while since I played. And so, yeah, let's get to it. Let's see what's going on. Uh, it's been a while, so I need to kind of get back into the swing of things. Let's do the galaxy map. Okay, that's right. I remember this is going on to the next zone. We're in this one right now. We came from that one. That's right, that's right. So let's zoom back in. <clears throat> so we're at the warehouse right now. I think there's all these asteroids that I wanna kinda mine with Adam. Was it there's some gradion, but mostly Adamite or whatever. Oh look at there's ones over here again. I thought I took care of those. So yeah, so basically we're going to do some mining and then maybe take care of some of these baddies. I've got my ship specced out to harvest the resources and so that's what we're going to do because we need some cash and I'm not sure why but yeah let's just click on that stuff let's activate all of these things and yeah and I'll meet you over there here we are we're coming upon the Gradeon we're going to just harvest the the crap out of that stuff so I'm going to continue on you know what we do so I'm basically going to harvest all of these resources once they're all harvested, then we'll carry on with destroying these guys, and then we'll move on to the next sector, I think. By then, we should be able to upgrade with anything in the station here and move on from there. So, yeah. So, I'm going to carry on with this process, and I'll be right back once I'm, I'm at the station. Oh, and I also forgot one more thing. Make sure you grab your drink and your tasty treats, because I don't think I said that yet. And so, yeah, that would be very important. So I'll meet you on the other side. Okay, here we are. We're back at the base. We're beginning docking procedures. And I'll meet you inside. Okay, here we are inside. So anything new? This is just kind of new contracts, blah, blah, blah. whoopie doo da day So here's the Gradeon. I think we can just hit sell. I don't think there is a mission. But let's take a quick peek at this. Uh, oh, they want some Edamite at the Astrox stations. So maybe we'll go back with some of that. Okay. And 168 minutes. So yeah, we got plenty of time. We should be able to do that this time around. Transport some refined metal. I wonder if we can... 363 refined metal. So let's see here. Let's go into market. Refined metal. There is some refined metal here. Can I refine this down? Biocarbon or iron coring. So let's just sell the Gradeon. Go back to the jobs. We need 363 refined metal. And we have that in here. Refined metal. We go 363. I might have to adjust this. 34,000. Oh, we only have 25,000. Crap. Okay. Okay, well we can do that, we can do that. So I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna go harvest some more materials, I think. Do one more load, so this shouldn't take too long. Where are we, here we go. Yeah, there's more ships now out. There's like four groups of them, that's pretty cool. We're gonna have to take these guys out, of course, when we take our loads. So let's pick up some Gradeon and then maybe a load of Adam Amite or whatever it's called. Because then we can take that back there. We'll buy those 363 units of the metal. And, and then fly back and we should be able to you double or triple our money or whatever. You know, whatever that may work out to, right? You know, if you want to do the math, go for it. So I just, I'm not that kind of a person. I'm not a math or numbers person. I just like stuff to work and I try the stuff. And if it works better, great. If not, well, whatever. Then I pick something else that might work, right? Or should work. So that's kind of how I look at stuff in this game. So yeah, so I'll meet you back at the station. Okay, and here we are. We're back at the what? The Mezzi Warehouse. I guess that's how you say it, right? So let's go back into here. We can sell the Gradeon. 322, is that enough? Let's go into the jobs, transport. We need 278 at a mind, so that's perfect. See, this is going down really fast, and I don't understand why, because I haven't been playing that long. So this is kind of weird how this, this operates. 
And then we have this one. So we need 363 refined ma metal. So let's see where we are. Trade goods. Refined metal, 363. Looks like this station also has the other components we need to upgrade stuff with. Did we buy it? Oh, maybe. Okay, so the, okay, we need to get rid of some stuff. So mining. 278 so was that 78 22 would make it 300 22 so 45 45 units I think <laughs> let's see if my math is right oh crap uh, okay that sucks okay well this works we need 34 okay we don't have enough cash anyways okay well anyways I'm gonna go back and collect some more units obviously I goofed that one up a little bit which is too bad I didn't really mean to but I did by accident so let's go pick up I wanted to sell like a, um, a quantity not the entire stack well, I was thinking of the the trade interface the market interface for whatever reason where I could do that and it just yeah I forgot it just went pop pops the whole thing so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill up on some gradion we're gonna leave one of the adamite ones alone we'll fill up on the the the, me, uh, the metal and then we'll go we'll pick up the the adamite or whatever it's called and then we'll head into the the, the your system zero right here so yeah so i'll be back once we have harvested everything and i'll meet you back at the station okay here we are we are back again <laughs> now hopefully we'll have enough so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to sell oh i do have some adamite okay cool i'm gonna sell all this stuff so now we should have enough now i should be able to buy 363 let's just check to see if the job exists and if not well okay and i'll still see these minutes are bouncing around it's so weird see this again weird okay so this will pick up on the way out. Should I do the math on that? Do I have enough cargo capacity? I hope so. I'm going to do this one anyways because it's worth more anyhow. This is just worth a pittance. But this is really the one that's going to pay off. So 363 refined metal. So we'll do that. Refined metal. Buy. 363. Now we should have enough. 3242. Bam. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it looks like we won't have enough. We have 126, and that job requires 278. Okay, that sucks. No, wait a second here. It's because I already have some. So let's just sell this, see what I have remaining. Uh, let's see, 197. And I think we need, yeah. So yeah, obviously we don't have enough, right? So, but that's still worth it to go and take that stuff out. We do have this kill stuff here. So maybe what we'll do is we'll retrofit our ship and go kill some of that stuff. And then we'll worry about, no, but we have 363. So we have to keep one of these. So what would I replace that with? So we can replace one of these. So we know we're not going to go mining. So we're going to replace these bad boys with those. Then we can pop on a missile launcher. We can pop on our lasers here, right? Because we know we're going to use those. We'll keep the thruster. We'll keep the the heavy capacitor. We don't need any of that stuff. These are just the shields. We already have shields on the ship, though. So you really I could uninstall one of these modules. Let's see here. I wish you could see more stats of your ship, like. Module configuration, refuel ship repair damage. Um, I guess here you can see it. So the space. So this is 580, and I think that includes that includes the the 250. So okay, so that's interesting. So we have 363 units used up. So I should be able to take off one of these, and we should be okay. Oh no, see minus 53. So we definitely have to keep one of these. It should tell me. So that's okay. So we'll have these bad boys. We'll have the the lasers, the missile, 
I think we'll be fine you taking out some of those guys. They don't really hurt us anyways. So let's go do that. Let's go take out some of those bad boys. And then, yeah, and then we'll come back. So let's see. Let's take out these bad boys down here. Let's activate everything. You have to click on them to turn them on. And hopefully we'll survive. Usually what I like to do is like to target both of them and then use this here to click on the one I want to attack. It usually works out easier that way. So yeah, so I'll meet you down over where the, the creatures are. Okay, we are closing in. Man, I say okay a lot. That almost bugs me myself. <laughs> so we'll have to definitely take care of that. So it's going to fire. We'll probably see a little interaction on our part. Bam, and then bam. We didn't even give them a chance to strike back. Pick up the crates. Okay, excellent. Maybe I should take out some of these bad boys here. How far away are these? These are stingers. How about down here? What's this? Uh, Stinger and Doemi. Recon, Stinger. Recon, Stinger. That is very, very, very interesting. Uh, let's see here. Mm, I, I might not worry about those. They'll all respawn anyways. So let's actually go up here and take care of these bad boys. And we'll, then we'll fly through. We'll deliver the stuff. And then, yeah, then we'll come back and we'll take care of these pirates, I think. I think that's kind of the order of business that we'll do. It's funny how things change, right? You have the intention of mining all this stuff, but now we're going to exit the system and come back. Well, as soon as you do that, it basically reloads the system and therefore respawns everything. I think it's kind of a flaw, but there might be settings for that otherwise. What's that? This long line. I've never noticed that before. Snap. Let's take care of that guy. I got hit, but that's not a big deal. Okay, let's fly right through. Okay, man, I like this. So this is this sector. See, everything respawns, basically. And you could take the time to mine this if you really wanted to. But actually, we could go here turn that in, pick up some Adamite, and even turn in that quest for your kicks, right? Just for for that. So this will yield us some money, so we'll be sitting at, what, 75, so 85,000? That sounds pretty good. And these new thrusters I have on here, they chew up the fuel, but it seems to do the trick. If I slow down the ship, then it would use considerably less, but you always pretty much have it burn at max capacity anyways. You might as well make it move as fast as possible in the direction that you want it to move. Because I think this goes down the same. I think it's based on distance. Maybe. Or maybe you have to click and hold and just... Yeah, see, it seems like it just goes down at the same rate. It goes down at a slower rate because I'm going at a slower speed. But it's it just almost seems like it's the same amount, right? So now we go jobs. Transport. Complete. Bam. There you go. We're at 85,000. So we can do this at a might. We might as well. We can't do the quasar because we don't have access to the next system. And there's no Torum yet that I'm aware of. So yeah. And then the kill ones are these typical kill ones. Oh, 15 of 13. Oh. Okay. Maybe we can... Why can't we turn that in? Oh, because I need to be at the warehouse. Gotcha. And we can kill, you turn this one in, which is 15,000. And that's three more. So we might as well turn in, the, in this one down here. And then we'll kill some more recons. And turn up, you know, the, uh, this one back in the warehouse. So that's pretty cool. And then maybe we'll turn this one in. We'll see. We'll see if we get to that today. But we should do the Adamite here. Since it's just in this sector. So let's take quick peek at our ship we need probably to implement a couple of these bad boys and we should be good to rock and roll with this yeah let's do this I'm gonna leave the the thrusters in place so basically just the nearest one too bad there's not any kind of rare ones that spawn other than your atomite or whatever like a different material then 
you maybe you'd have a chance in completing those other quests. So, but yeah, but you know the drill, right? We're going to mine the crap out of this and then turn that quest in. So, I'll meet you at the base, or at the base, at the station. Okay, here we go. We're back at the base, and I'm saying okay again. <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious. Okay, there we go. There's another one. We'll complete that one. Perfect. Then we'll probably just sell the rest, I think. Bam! As easy as that. And I think then we're good as far as jobs go. Transport 504 water. So we could buy water and bring it here if it's only a little tiny payout. Maybe if we were to fly here, but even then, it's a lot of cargo space to to fill up. Yeah, we're gonna do the kill stuff next. I think that's the next they're gonna be the next order of business. So which means uh, I probably don't need to have anything outfitted for mining wise. Maybe we'll put the extra thruster there. We'll remove one of those and maybe we'll just add some of the shields maybe. Points your ship's shield generator. Or should we just do light armor? Which adds more hit points. So either way, or do we even need it? You know, because we never really hit the max. So let's just keep the configuration this way. And yeah, let's let's go. So we're gonna head back into the other system there, and we're gonna take out the wonderful people, or the you know the pirates that are floating around there. So I'll meet you on the other side. Okay, here we go. We're gonna pop into the other side. Bam, and there might be pirates here, so we're gonna, of course, take care of them. Just like so. <laughs> no challenge, no contest, okay. So if you can tell, nothing has respawned yet, right? So what I'm going to do, a oh, plastic strand, that's cool. Pirates, pirates. See how everything just starts all over again here? So what I'm going to do is maybe go over here, grab some Gradeon, and do some mining, and if some more pirates spawn in, we'll kind of dispatch those while we're mining. More should come, but I just want to kind of fill up before I head to the, the station, and so that's the plan. So I will meet you at the station, or with some pirates. Okay, some pirates have spawned, yay, so we're going to go after them going to highlight them here both of them and yeah so let's go after them let's take them out take them out snap okay a little bit tougher but that is okay we still took care of them no big deal no big deal just a little bit of damage but that's that's manageable and let's see 195 cargo so let's continue processing this this one here so yeah so that was kind of fun oh boy look who just appeared some more targets let's go take them out here and highlight them and I'm actually gonna go after the stinger it's a little bit tougher target it's still gonna be easy but yeah we'll take care of business here I think the missile will launch anyways BAM Okay, and then we take out the recon. As quickly as that started, it ended. Simple as that. Oh, got some quasar ore out of that. That's interesting. I wonder what would happen if I took these out. I only took out two groups that, as you've seen so far. I'm kind of curious because this should make the other ones spawn potentially. Yeah, okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fly back to here do some trading and then maybe we'll hopefully come back maybe there'll be more your pirates in the sector we'll see about that I'm not sure if the asteroids will respawn the ones that we kind of took care of I don't think they do I think it only does when you leave the system altogether or when you reload the game so that's kind of you know, my understanding of all of that so yeah and we'll see what kind of stuff we can upgrade. You know, I want to see if we can upgrade any of these things because I like these, this kind of stuff. Look, looks like we're getting more experience. We have skill points to use, so that's why I figure we should, 
you see what we can spend our money on. Okay, so obviously, I don't think there's any jobs. Just the water to transport. The Quasar to here, but we don't have enough. And then this is the kill quest stuff, right? We, just, oh, we've, we of course have to take care of more things, more recons, you know, just more everything in general, right? Yeah, that's interesting. The magic of video editing. Okay, so I was going to kind of explore some stuff here. Let's do that. Let's explore the market. Let's see if there's anything special here. There is the medium and heavy lasers. So we should think about using these bad boys instead. So we can buy three of these, I think. One. So we can go one, two, three. Three heavy lasers. Okay. Do we need a heavy shield? Okay, let's we'll go garage. These are small lasers. Now we got bam, 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 heavy lasers. So we can sell the small lasers, but we can't. Heavy shield, do I have that? I think we just have the light shield, so we can buy the heavy shield then. That will be useful, right? And then I think that is about it. Could buy some more missiles here. How many do we have? We have 13. So let's buy seven of them, I think. Yeah. Let's buy seven. That's awesome. What else? There's a quad bay launcher we can buy. So that fires four missiles at a time. Which means we would need more. More, more missiles, right? So that's interesting. And there's blasters, which are different than the lasers. These are long-range uh, missiles. Oh yeah, that's right. We got the plastic strands. We can sell that. Might as well sell all that we have of that. We also have the dust here. Might as well sell that. I'm, that's all right. I'm digging this. So now, this is the light energy. I don't think we need that anymore. And I don't think we can sell anything really more than that. We can kind of salvage these things. So for example, if we go like this, so we can scrap them. So the small lasers we can scrap, but they're usually better to sell. You usually have to sell these where you can. So not everywhere will accept them. So that's kind of interesting. Let's go university. So this is where we have to pay for training. And we can do targeting systems, which increases projectile range. We can do fuel chemistry, which increases or decreases the fuel burn. And this is laser beam focus. So it's actually do one of these and one of these. So that way we have some credits still left over. And Maybe we'll buy this skill as well, just to have it. All right, so that way there's some benefit to it. Because now it's it costs money to upgrade. We don't have that much. <laughs> even this stuff, even this would be almost worth it. Because the fuel burn reduction is definitely worth it, I think, in the long run. Lab a laboratory is, of course, more of this stuff, you know, where you can... Kind of mess with the recipes. I don't know. I don't. I don't think this is really necessary. Maybe if you had a longer game, then you could mess around with this stuff. But it seems with the easy game, that's it's unnecessary. So yeah. And then we have all this stuff. So let's get rid of the gradion and let's make sure our ship is outfitted for death. So we have the heavy shields now. Oh, that's so awesome! Extended tank. It's a heavy capacitor. Okay, I'm quite happy now with the results. So let's go try out these new thingy-maboobers. Let's put a mining beam on the ship as well, because we need that. And yeah, now we're going to see what kind of damage that we can do to the pirates in the area here. Are there any pirates? Just the ones around this the, the thing here. Well, you know what? We'll just do that then. Maybe we'll just take care of this stuff and see what happens. I'm going to think it's going to make the, the main kind of crew spawn in. 
I almost don't want to do that. I almost want to mine this first. And you collect some cargo. And then hopefully they'll spawn in as I'm doing that. So yeah, so I will kind of see you on the other end of this. Okay, here's some more pirate raiders. Awesome. Let's go take care of business here. So they're both stingers. So that should be pretty easy. At least I think so. We'll find out here. We'll find out. And then whichever one's left, we'll take care of the other one. I'm not sure why it doesn't auto-target, but maybe I have to click on this. Auto-targeting false. Maybe that would change things a little bit. I don't know. Is that a crate? Oh, that is a, a crate. Cool. Plastite ore, Loken ore. That's kind of cool. Let's zoom out again. Okay, let's carry on with the processing of these these materials here. I'll be back with the next batch. Okay, so the next batch of ships appeared here, so that's going to be interesting. We're going to go after the Stinger, because I think that would be the easiest. And then the Recons, well, they're just, yeah, they're just ants. You just squish them. You just squish them like the bugs that they are. <laughs> let's, let's check this out here. Snap. Okay. And that one, and that one, and even that one. Bam! Look at that. One, two, three, four. As quick as you can count, it does it. And the Acolyte Officer comes. Man, a lot of stuff here. Okay. There they are. Let's go after those bad boys. Let's go after the Acolyte Officer. Not sure why you'd let them live, but... I guess it's always a choice. You can always let the officer live and then you kill everything else come you go into your place and come back and I don't know this is how you move on this is how you advance it's like the little area boss so how did you miss that like bam boom okay take that out Take that guy out, and take that guy out. Bam! Okay. Sweet. That worked out quite nicely. Got a bunch of Quasar. We achieved level 4. Woohoo! Level 2 officer has been defeated. So yeah, so we took care of business there. That's for sure. We're almost full, so I'm going to fill up on this guy. And I'll meet you at the Mezzi Warehouse. Yeah, I guess I never told people about what happens when this happens. Basically, you stop using fuel and then you start burning you know, actual energy. But because we can recover energy, it doesn't really matter. You could almost turn that off. In the options, you can turn that burn off. But I don't know. I think it just it has that extra flavor of the game, right? So I think that it just adds to what makes this game what this is. So it looks like we have a bunch of stuff. I don't think I can really transport any of that. We don't have enough Quasar. We would have to kill more people. So maybe we'll hold on to the Quasar and we'll get rid of everything else. The kill stuff, yeah, we need to kill more, obviously. We obviously haven't killed enough to kind of you meet these requirements. Uh, in the garage, I think we're, we're outfitted well. We're, we're good to go. We didn't really get damaged, if you notice, too much. And so let's just get rid of the cheap stuff. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of the Loken, the Placite, the Adamite. And then we can even sell this stuff. This, this, and that. Okay. I think we'll be re I think we're ready to rock and roll. And I think we're ready to attack the next system. So let us do that. I don't think there's other ships here. Shipyard. Yeah, I think we have the frigate already, so we chose the frigate over the corvette, and so yeah, so off we go. Okay, so I'm going to check out, we're going to check out the new system here, and then we're going to call it quits once we kind of go to the new station. So let's fly to Doemi. Oh man, oh man, oh man. It's exciting, folks. This is the part of the game I enjoy, it's kind of going into these new areas and seeing what we have to take out. I know there's like pirate bases and stuff that you get to eventually. It's all kind of just like a, a tutorial the first 
few kind of sectors that you pop into. I'll call them sectors. I don't know if they're systems or whatever term you want to use. It's all about the same to me. Yeah, I just had a drink. Mm, yummy water. Okay, so come on, Doemi. It's making the air. I have something here that bounces against the, the desk. I'm going to have to fix that one day. Okay, here we go, here we go. Bam, bam, bam. Snap. Uh, let's see, what do we have? We have a stinger and a stinger and another stinger. Bam. Okay. Take those out. Are there any boxes here? I don't think so. Zoom out. We do have some guys here. Let's take care of those. There's a box here as well. Let's take care of the crate. Looks like there's Sohia Center. Sheesh, this is like a very poor Gradion. Okay, so this is nothing really special here at this system. So let's check out this crate here. We're going to blow through this one, I think. I wonder what kind of ships this place offers. So it looks like some Placite ore. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, let's check this out down here. Let's take out the Stinger. Stingers is first, and then we'll t we'll check out. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I want to kind of harvest these as well before we fly to the station, so so that way we have stuff to sell. It's just disappointing that this is all there is. <laughs> oh, look at that! Not even chance. Bam, bam. Thank you. Some more credits. Uh, I like that. It's kind of a waste, though. So let's yeah. So let's go over here and collect some resources so so yeah so I'll be right back as soon as we get close to to coming here or maybe with the next battle we'll see what comes first we're gonna take out some acolytes here that's a little bit tougher but I think we have our full complement and well we got shields still so we're okay and then we have the halls so by the time that, th that anything bad happens we'll take these bad boys out so not a big deal. Let's kind of zoom in on this. They kind of look like us a little bit. Are there the like the other? Cl uh, oh yeah, yeah. That's not bad at all. No big deal. The thrusters. T yeah. Okay. Yeah, I figured that's it's what they would be like. Very, very, very easy. So excellent. So I think we're almost. Oh, there's another. Here's a couple more. Interesting. Where should we go? Should we take those out? I'm gonna actually go here first because we need to refuel and we might as well recharge. Look, your rare medium afterburner was uncovered. Oh, that's cool. That's so cool. Uh, food ration. Uh, those are the pirate raiders. That's so cool. So let's see what we have in here and then we'll call it an episode. So that was fun. So this is what I mean. Like you can just play this game and you can do anything you want. It's kind of sandboxy in the sense where, yeah, you're limited to the size of the system, but you can change the size of all this. I just have it easy on the easy settings because I wanted to see what it was all about. And so we can get through the first kind of iteration of this and then the next world will make or universe will make will be like tough. I want it tough as nails. So let's check this out here. So we have our refined thing. We can sell that stuff but let's check our jobs first transport water mine still the quasar or the torum we're obviously not going to get to that today because i'm pretty much done so we might as well sell sell and sell we sell the food rations we should buy more missiles so let's see here let's see what we have oh look at that the bigger cargo boxes general expansion fuel tank so the stack well, so this is a thousand cargo capacity. So really easy, we're gonna buy probably a couple of these ones and then sell a couple of these ones. I think that's as easy as that. So if we go buy brake modifier, I'm not sure what this is. Maybe to slow down, I'm not sure. So we buy one, we buy two, and then we can kind of sell those. So if we unequip one, Unequip this one, All right? And then we can go back into here. See, now we can sell this stuff. So we can sell the level one expanders. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's exciting. We can sell the small lasers. We might as well get rid of all those. We don't need those. We can sell the light shield here. Awesome. We don't need that one. Ooh, dual shield. 
So is this one better? 500 points? Yeah, it is. So we're just going to buy upgrades, I think, instead. So this heavy shield was pretty useless. Let's see, Deluxe now. I think the next thing to buy would be this thing, the general expansion. Because I think we use... Oh, wait a second. No, the, the, the quantum cell right here. This is what we would want for a fuel tank, a quantum cell, because that would be bigger, all right? So maybe we'll, oh, look at that, dual lasers. Oh, man, dual plate. Yeah, cool. We're going to have to definitely upgrade our ship. So, yeah, and is there anything interesting in here? Let's click through this stuff. Is there anything interesting in the shipyard? There is not. Wow, I'm surprised. So we have the best ship possible. So it's just a matter of outfitting with equipment. Wow, this is awesome. Oh, look at that Astro Pick 9000. A new mining laser. <laughs> so guess what we're buying here? We're going to buy actually just a couple of these. Because I think with two of these, you don't really need any more. And we can probably sell these basic miners as well. We might as well. We only had one because we have the modified basic miners, I think, as well. Or do I have to take those off? Let's unhook that. And so, yeah, see, so we can't sell these ones. We can scrap them. And so let's sell this basic miner. Oh, they're all... Okay, so they're all... So we might just scrap them. I'm going to scrap those ones, I think, then. So if you go modules, because the two, I think, will be enough. And so, yeah... So this is, I think, all we'll get out of them. Maybe I'll hold on to them. So anyways, folks, thank you everybody for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. Next episode, we're going to you know, do some harvesting. And then we're going to take care of the pirates and move on to the next system. Since this system is pretty small. So yeah, so thank you and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.